Hello and welcome Cancerians. This is your June 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, as usual, what we do here, we will divide the reading into sections. So it's a bit easier for you to understand it. Um, so what we will do is we will look at the overall energy first for the month of June 2023 for the sign of Cancer before we then go into your emotional core. Maybe there's love coming in, maybe there's healing that needs to happen before we then lastly look at opportunities as they come to you and as they present themselves to you in the month of June 2023. Right? Let me just say this up front, Cancerians. Bloody hell. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're looking at. The overall energy in the month of June is to stop playing around, uh, distracting yourself, thinking life is good, everything is fine, everything's going to work. Your job in June 2023, Cancerians, is to heal without judging who has done the damage to you, whether or not it was yourself, it was a you know combination of wrong choices, whatever it was, it doesn't bloody matter. That's all thoughts that you don't need to have. The thoughts that you should have is, how connected am I to myself and how do I get there? Well, you get there by letting stuff go and learning to also not push it aside. What I'm getting strongly for Cancerians is that you, that you at this point in time, push things aside. You maybe are just very busy or you, you don't get a moment to think about yourself. Or if you do get a moment to think about yourself, you are, you are sort of, it's, it's an artificial moment, right? So point here is in June 2023, for the sign of Cancerians, you are asked to allow for healing to happen, even if it's going to be ugly. Right? Allow yourself to be honest to yourself. And the, the most thing, that, or, the, or the strongest energy that I'm getting here for Cancerians when it, when it comes to not to do a certain thing is the distraction. Um, you don't have nice words for yourself oftentimes. You, your your self-esteem is not, not so great, so it's easy for you to point out what isn't quite working. So there's a negative energy that you put on yourself that then attracts other people putting that on you, if that makes sense. And at the same time, uh, you're distracting yourself quite, quite easily by, by, by doing stuff. Um, maybe even things that, 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 things that, that empower other people, if that makes sense. It's not your job this month. Your job is to heal. So your overall energy is to find a way to be with yourself, right? Inside yourself, feel yourself, and then really, really heal. Because that healing is the only thing that will actually ultimately lead to new beginnings that can't happen because you will be re-triggered by new people that you, that you manifest into your life unless you have sorted the old stuff. So that's what I'm getting. And the old stuff is quite important because there is a past element here in this month's energy for Cancerians. Now let's go to your emotional core, your love life, all that kind of stuff. Even though I feel what the guys have just said in the, in the overall energy fits into it. And it makes sense because while we're dividing the reading so it's easier to understand, everything flows. So it, it shouldn't be tuck, tuck, tuck. It shouldn't be super separate, if that makes sense. Ultimately, when it comes to... This is all about manifesting. Manifesting properly, again, Cancerians, is not what you do well. right? Um, Something feels good, you go for it. I get that. But there's a bit of a like, yeah, let's see what this does. Um, doesn't quite work. What you need to have in order for your healing, again, there's healing here, to happen. And if it is about new relationships or, 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 or a relationship that you're in to make that work, you need to have a structure under which you operate, right? Have a bit of a more, of more, of a, of a, of a, of a uh, I can't talk. <laughs> have a bit of a routine how your day works, how much time do you give to yourself, how much time do you give to others, right? And if you give them too much time, do you have enough time for yourself 
to recharge your battery. That's the that's the the, the, the baseline of everything you need to understand. If your if your energy is already low, right, you're not getting very far, are you? And so the point that guides are making is you need some structure um, that works much better for you than just you know. So when you just roll from one day to the next, um, while it can be quite freeing, um, it's not what you need this month uh, in June. When it comes to you being fulfilled, when it comes to to uh, relationships, and when it comes to really letting stuff go that still sit there, which automatically will affect any relationship you might be in. Look at it with a structure. Once you have identified what and where the pain sits, look at it. Okay? So that was that. Uh, and now we're finally looking at opportunities. Now, opportunities are interesting because there is an element of karmic energy in the opportunity Thing. <laughs> what the guys highlight here is that opportunities that come to you will oftentimes remind you of something that you did in the past. So if you are a person or should you be the person that, that oftentimes, you know, I do something completely new and it's great. And then you kind of go like, yeah, it's always great in the beginning. And then I fall back into blah, 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 blah. And in the end, you always leave or you're always being asked to leave. So if the, the pattern that you're, that you're operating in when it comes to whatever it is you want to do or you're doing always ends in some sort of rejection or defeat or, or just not being able. While there might be an array of reasons for this, and I'm not getting that everything here is your fault either, it's about understanding that because there is a pattern that leads to you not progressing really has to do with your past. Now, in June, it will be important or would be important, depending on whether or not you play ball, to really look at how does my past affect what I'm doing for a living, affect the opportunities that come to me, that help me sustain myself, all these things. This is a, a month for, for Cancerians that feels quite serious, but because it has to be. Right? What I'm getting is, you can do this until the cows come home, distracting yourself, do some, do some, some maybe not so meaningful stuff, right? just to waste time. Whatever it is you do, the point I'm getting is, all these things that distract you from looking at yourself do not allow you to look at your healing and it is so needed that you look at, at, at the healing and at the, and at the pain that still sits inside you. Now, you're not the only sign that this is asked of, if that makes sense. I and mean, obviously the whole point is to, to get better and let go of stuff that isn't quite working. But in your case, Cancerians, it feels like, you know, you're going out of your way not, not to have to do that. So this is about, you know, doing stuff that, that your soul kind of knows isn't going anywhere. And all the guys are saying is pay attention to yourself. Get with the program of healing. Look at what needs to happen because that is what ultimately will allow you to be another person, if that makes sense, or almost another person with much less issues that started at some stage in the past and are still affecting you here and now. Cancerians, thank you for watching. That's all I got. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. I hope I see you in July. See you then. Bye bye.